Baby, I got edges. Somebody. Mama, I got edges. Listen long, long enough if you can love me. somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wig stay clink 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 mm. how are y'all doing today hopefully you're doing well y'all know i like to greet y'all when y'all come in the door y'all know i'm not rude okay how are y'all doing today hopefully you're doing well obviously i'm doing fantastic i'm doing great because mama's got a new scalp and y'all know how i feel about new scalps i don't know what all this was okay baby i got edges the day the Lord gives me edges, the day I act a fool, okay? For today's Wine and Wigs Day, before we get into today's wig, I wanna ask y'all for a quick question. Just a quick, quick, quick question. Can you hit subscribe and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post? Because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs, vlogs, all sorts of videos, girl. I'm coming to you every single day. This sort of wig is perfect for beginners because you could just toss her on, girl. You don't have to worry about baby hairs, flattening hairlines, none of that stuff, girl. All you gotta do is add a little something to the hair and that's it, super duper simple. I'm so excited to get into the wig. I wanna say thank you to Julia Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig on my head is a 13 by four lace frontal kinky curly wig with kinky curly edges. This wig is 20 inches long and 150% density. If you pop the hood on this wig, you can see that this wig comes with, hold on, let me count the combs, girl. It comes with three combs, adjustable straps in the back and it also comes with a piano key elastic band just so you can wear this wig glueless as far as this wig when i first received this wig and i pulled her out of the box this wig came obviously with the kinky curly edges but the knots were not bleached and for me when i have kinky curly edges i have to bleach the knots but this is what it looks like right now girl with the knots bleached i want to show y'all how i applied this wig and how i got these curls to pop these curls they just won't stop they just won't so, so if you want to see how I applied this wig and how I got these curls, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. I already have on my wig grip because I can't be bothered. Bars. <laughs> my wig grip on. We're going to go ahead and try on this wig. Girl, I have been procrastinating all day doing this video. I don't even know what it is. Let's go ahead and put this wig cap on top of the wig grip. This is my ball cap method right here. Wig grip, wig cap, that's it. Now let's go ahead and try on the wig. Let's see what she gives. This wig has been washed. The knots have been bleached. Look at them edges, baby. Okay? These are edges. This is what the hair is looking like after it's been washed and that knots have been bleached. Like, look, listen, Linda. So as you can see, I feel like the hairline looks good and the hair is super duper pretty. But we need to do a couple things to it. So first, I need to tint this lace because this is not gonna work, no ma'am. The hair's been washed and conditioned, but the hair after washing and conditioning is a tad bit dry. But I'm gonna go ahead and section out the side part because I don't wanna lose this. So this is what I do, I keep this. I start to tint this lace, I'ma lose that part. I don't wanna lose that part. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Flawless Illusions <clears throat> by Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray in the color medium brown. If you know the spill, love the product, customer service and shipping is, mm, I still love the product, so I've been rocking with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, okay? We're gonna go ahead and tint the lace. So how I like to tint my lace is basically, I like to turn the wig inside out and spray the inside of the cap with the lace tint and then use a brush to brush it in. This is the only part I don't like, girl. This is messy as hell. It's giving messy as Wendy Williams, messy as Charlemagne, messy as a young LaBanza. So we're just gonna spray inside. And then I'm gonna hit it with the, oh, I'm gonna use this brush to distribute the color and blow dry it on high and cool or high and warm, warm. We have tinted the lace. Girl, I messed up these clips. Oh my God, but y'all gonna see the difference. Like I say this every single, well, do this need more lace tint? Because it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, 
usually by the time i put it back i put it on it gives like oh my god it's melted oh my god whose hair is it uh, she's looking a little light but maybe once i cut it yeah once i cut it i think it'll look better but the lace is a little bit you know what i'm saying she's a little bit i feel like i need to put a little bit more lace tint on here hold on i feel like i need to take a little brush and do something on the front because this ain't this ain't jiving with me I need you to have some color, baby. Y'all know I don't play about the color of my lace. I don't play about the color of my lace. <sighs> Cause girl, oh, this lace ain't, oh, it's not, it's, I don't know if it's gonna cooperate like I wanted to cooperate, but that's okay. Girl, cooperation is optional with the wig because I can make you cooperate. I can make you do what I want you to do. So I'm gonna clip back this hair on both sides and i'm gonna go ahead and clip my lace off they gave us a lot of lace to work with which is good for if you have a bigger head but i got a tiny head so i gotta get rid of the excess lace so i like to go angle upwards and actually oh girl i just cut off a chunk of hair i know i did i know i did i don't think y'all know how small my head is like it's out of control how small it is there we go you see that you know Baby, we can use this for a bang up in the front. Like I tell y'all, I like to go like right where that cheekbone is and I like to go up and over. Ooh. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace. I'm gonna take my scissors and we're gonna cut off the rest of the lace going in a zigzag motion. You can use those zigzag scissors, but I like to use shears. These are Annie shears. These are the stainless steel ice collection i'll go ahead and leave a link for it down in the description box below i love these scissors they're really really sharp that's why i like to use them on my lace you can really get like a zigzag cut if you got like a flick of the wrist you know what i'm saying just baby it's giving very much straight across so i don't know what i'm talking about but you know what i'm saying i'm trying <laughs> I can't see. I'm looking straight through this lace. What's going on? Okay. At the very end. Boom. Okay. Now I need to just go ahead and apply the wig. Girl, actually, this is very easy. I was going to try and make it harder than it needed to be. But why would I do a thing like that when the edges is already set up for you? The straight edges is what, is what mixes the girls up. In order to apply the wig, y'all know I love to use... Any sort of product, um, the Eben Wonder Lace Bond or the uh, Wig Dealer Gel. B between these two mommies, I think I wanna try the wig. They look like they're from the same brand. Wow, that's crazy. This e this Wig Dealer Touch Up Lace Bonding Gel is, ooh, I've shown this before. It has a silicone tip and you can apply the gel straight to your forehead like this and then apply the wig, why? You know what I'm saying? Really, really simple, really easy. And it has an easier cleanup than the even spray to me. So, um, so this is what I do. I take the wig dealer gel and I just apply it all the way across on the forehead. And then you just allow it to get tacky. You can use a blow dryer or you can just, I like to just air dry it because the blow dryer dries it too fast. But usually I let it dry for maybe like a minute or two and then I'll go in with a second layer. Then we apply the wig. So we're gonna do the second layer. Oh, oh, I think it was a little bit wet. Oh no. The only thing about this lace tint is that it's water-based. So if, if it touches something like wet, the color will start to run. What is up with this? Girl, I need to clean all of my utensils. There is gel and glue all over my stuff. I've really been tripping. But I'm gonna let this section dry. So far it looks good. Okay, it may be running a little bit but I'm not too worried about it. One thing about kinky edge wigs is that it kind of hides the lace for you. It's not so lace forward, you know? Um, I don't know why I decided to use forward today, but that's the word that's in my vocabulary. It's not really lace forward. It's giving very much edge forward. So if you mess up a little bit, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm telling you not to worry about it, but I'm worried about it. I don't plan on doing baby hair. So right after this girl, we're going to jump right into styling. So... 
I'm excited, girl. Very excited. So let's just keep going. Okay y'all, so I've applied the wig and as you can see, like there's a little bit of a line of demarcation because that is the lace tint running from the gel. So I need to clean this up. So what I usually like to do is take some micellar water. My skin is a little sensitive right now, so I need to be careful. But I like to take some micellar water, add it to a Q-tip and clean this up. I sometimes speed this up and I'm gonna speed it up after this, but what I like to do is just take that Q-tip and clean up these shiny areas right here. Oh, I need a towel, see? And I'll take the other side of the Q-tip and like clean up the mess. Or usually I'll have a towel, but I didn't left my towel somewhere. You see, like oh, it looks so much better once you clean that off. It's not even completely clean, to be honest. I need to go get a towel, but I'll use a towel to rub out the residue. And then I'm going to, after I clean the full hairline and I get all the way across, I'm gonna apply my rapid strips here across the hairline and then use the elastic band melt it down then we can go ahead and get to cutting this hair and styling it the hairline is resting i need to take it off soon because my forehead is dry because i used too much micellar water and i was itching oh no i done dried out my forehead why i do that anyways i don't know it's time to trim just a little bit the ends this is kinky curly hair ends of this hair are a little bit popish it's popping a little bit but i'm not interested in shaping the hair or anything like that i just want to get rid of the dryness that's all so ooh. See? Oh no, that was from me cutting the lace up. I'm just gonna take the hair up like this and I'm just gonna trim it a little bit because these ends, baby, they are dry. I'm not trying to like cut a brand new shape or anything. I'm just trying to get some ends off. That's all. Satisfy my little trimming craving, girl. I got a trim craving. Just gonna take the shears and drag it down the hair. Y'all know I like to do it the lazy way. I'm just gonna bring this on around. And that's it, girl. Wrap it around the neck, give it some scarf action, and I'm gonna chop off about this much of the ends. Hopefully, it's not gonna be uneven in the back, but usually it's pretty even when I do this, which is crazy, girl. And I'm gonna chop off the ends. And I'm just gonna, t I can feel like the ends back here. I didn't trim the back, so I'm just gonna trim some of those ends off and then we're good. Let me get to add the mousse because I'm not playing, I'm not playing, girl. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and I need to watch the Real Housewives of New Jersey. It's been a little boring this season though, you know? Oh, girl. I'm gonna be a hairy girl tonight. I'm definitely gonna have to shower all this hair off of me. Oh my God. Definitely some still some dryness up here, but I think it's enough, right? Now we can get to adding the mousse to this hair. Now this hair is a kinkier, curlier texture. And I know I told y'all that the mousse I like to use for kinky curly textures is the, the Do Mousse Def Texture Foam. It's a thicker mousse and it dries faster. So I love using this, but I also got this uh five day curl for forming glaze i actually don't know this is from moose def this is the pop lock wash and go collection i wonder what like what is this like oh it's like a oh how the oh it smells so good oh we love this oh i love the texture what is this about so i'm gonna section the hair in half and i'm gonna work 
on the time. Now, where's that hair clip I just had? Like, what did I do with it? See, you can't have it. Let me have nothing, bro. Nothing. Oh, girl, it was right in my face. See, that's why I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay. So, I'm going to use my Evolve 572 brush and my the Dew Mousse Def Texture Foam. Boom. We're going to use both of these together. And I'm going to uh, mousse down this hair and comb through the curls. This is like my favorite thing to do. Let's go ahead and add the mousse. I'm gonna make it quick and simple. I always say I'm gonna make it quick and simple. Y'all know that's my favorite, favorite words. Oh, come on, come on. Y'all hear how thick that is? I mean, come on. Sometimes you need a little water or something. This thing is so thick. It's almost like a cream slash, but I love using this mousse. Uh, sometimes, as opposed to my Shea Moisture mousse, because wow, this stuff dries so fast. And comb through the goal is to get the curl. There you go. Y'all see them curls? You see what they're doing? That's what they need to do right there. See that? Wow. Okay, so I want to take some of this. I want to see what this does. Girl, this hair all over my hands. That is gross. Let me be a lady. Let's see what this gel does. You see the texture? It's like, I thought it was going to be like thicker, but it's like watery. So I wanted to see what this does. Like on top, it's. When I tell you it smells amazing, what does it remind me of? Oh, oh, these are... Girl, what type of curls is these? What y'all think? I don't think it's clumping as much as I would like, but the curls are beautiful. I think it needs a little water, but I don't, I'm, I don't know if I feel like water. I just like it all to stick together. I don't like to see them little strands. Y'all gonna see the cap popping out because this wig cap is really big. Okay, there we go. As long as the ends curl up, girl, I ain't got time tonight. But that's gonna bother me. <laughs> the littlest things bother me, but I don't have time tonight. Look at them ends though. Very pretty. Let's keep going. Bigger sections. We're not playing around today. So, girl, I'm gonna try and do this in three sections. I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, see, this is already, this gotta be split in two. But, you know, maybe five. <laughs> okay, let's keep going and work through the hair, brushing through all that type of stuff.
Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. What do y'all think? Do you love it? I love it. I absolutely love it. It looks, oh, this hair. Oh, but look at those curls. Baby, when I tell you I can get some curls together, I'm not lying, okay? Look. Hold on, make sure ain't no split in the back. It's probably a little bit of split. Like, look at these curls. Stunning. Now let's go ahead and get into this hairline. And then I'll go ahead and get into the cons. This is everything that I love about this wig, the hair, the curls, everything. Like, look at this. But look at that kinky hairline. Y'all see this kinky hairline? Oh my God. I got a little makeup on there, girl. I did too much. Hold on. These curls? Like, look at them. Oh my God, that's insane. The roots it gives. Now, we talked about all the great stuff. We talked about all the coils. They look absolutely gorgeous. I love that you don't have to do anything to the hairline. Like, you don't have to do baby hairs and all that type of stuff. I be feeling like it. But look at how these curls have laid down. Like, down here, like, what are we talking about? Like, that is crazy. Now, let's go ahead and get into the cons. I don't know if you can tell, but this lace is a little bit thick on Okay, I had a hard time blending this lace. Typically, I could do a little bit of magic, but this lace is a little bit thicker. I feel like I could have done a better job of blending and cutting and all that type of stuff. Um, but baby, I was still rock it. I just do like this. You know, it's just the, the parts on the sides. It's just like, and maybe I left a little bit too much lace out, but the lace, is a bit too it's a little bit too textured and too thick another con for this unit um let me see the wig cap is big for me as you can see it's big but this comes with an elastic band so baby she ain't she ain't going nowhere and you could just tuck the comb right under the elastic band and you're good to go keep your head up girl don't move it around because <laughs> well for me i can't do that because i have a very small head but you know what i'm saying what else? And the hair, it when we washed and conditioned the hair, the hair was pretty dry. Like it was dry. And I was telling you like the ends were dry and it was a little bit more matted and dry at the top. Now after I added the mousse to it, the hair is soft, it's fluffy. I had to do a little trim on it. As you can see, like she's good to go. But initially, baby, she needs some moisturization. That's what I'm telling you. So make sure you have a good product like this, the do product that i use y'all saw it earlier the dew is really really good for that it did moisturize the hair the hair is super duper soft it just it needed it needed moisturization great i was able to add a little bit of makeup this is what i figured out so i used um some stick foundation over top of the lace i figured out if i use usually the lace tint just works but this is a little bit thicker so she she needed some makeup i'm not a makeup on the lace girl but a stick foundation helped a whole lot. You see less of that line of demarcation and it's giving very much blended at this point. Okay, so I redeemed myself because I was trying to figure out, girl, I said I can make anything work. So what's going on? But either way, y'all let me know what you think about this unit down below. Do you like her? Do you love her? What do you think? I would like to say thank you to Julia Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Well, y'all know I'm not gonna send y'all out the door without a coupon code, that's through that's weird and of course we have a link for the wig down below if you are interested tell me about your secrets of blending lace especially if it's a little bit more of a textured lace y'all let me know down below because your girl needs to know stick foundation is my trick if it gets a little bit you know what i'm saying so i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video